Hey everybody, it's great to be here with you today and I'm excited to introduce you to one of our certified elite ad managers, Cassandra. Cassandra has been one of our star students. She just gets in there. She asks all those very interesting questions and just has absolutely crushed her time in the elite ad manager and is being rewarded for it these days with some great opportunities that are coming her way, paying her back for all the hard work that she's been putting in. So Cassandra, welcome. It is great to have you here with us. Hi there, Jody. Thanks for having me and in inviting me to come on here with you. My absolute pleasure, Cassandra. It's been so great having you inside the Elite Ad Manager. So just let everyone know, tell us a bit about your background. Like what led you to this point? Obviously you were not born an ad manager. Nobody is. Nobody really goes to school saying, I want to learn how to do Facebook ads. So what brought you to this point of becoming a, an Elite Ad Manager? Um, honestly, you know, my family got hit hard with 2020. Um, a lot of people did, a lot of people pivoted online, and I thought I had a tiny bit of experience running ads, and I had no idea, <laughs> but that brought me to some of your content, your inner circle stuff, and, and I saw that program, and I saw the potential of it, and, and went for it 100%, so before that, I was, well, I'm still a homeschool mom. I did uh, teaching English to Chinese kids online super early in the morning. And um, yeah, it's, you know, just doing kind of the independent stuff for a little while, so. Wow, English to uh, Chinese students and very early starts for you. Yeah. <laughs> That's fascinating. It's so, it's so interesting to hear the backgrounds and what have, you know, what people have done before getting into this experience. And I mean, like, yes, 2020, that was a, a big thing for sure. A lot of people who thought jobs were secure weren't so yeah. secure and, um, and working online. Well, everyone started working online. And, you know, for us who have been running ads for people for a lot of time and we always use Zoom and it's like, wow, now the whole world knows about Zoom. So it's a lot more of, a, I think people have a lot more understanding of, you know, all these opportunities that you can have now working online. So you did mention that you had a bit of experience running ads, um, but then you you discovered that you really didn't know too much. So so tell us a bit more about that. Um, that was just kind of a while ago, just trying to promote like an MLM thing on the side. And then with the homeschool uh, organization in my area, helping them try to find more families to join their community and stuff. Um, but yeah, I look back on it now and I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck was I doing? And I thought I, you know, I'm like, yes, I know what to do. I, I knew everywhere to go. And it sounded and looked right and it made sense and it had results. But now I realize that was just luck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a lot yeah. more to it. There is, there is. So well, what, what's one of the, the big takeaways for, for you then going through the training? What has it really opened your eyes to when it comes to running Facebook ads for clients? Um, honestly, I think the biggest one is just this entire world of online businesses and that space. So if you're someone who hasn't really realized how big that is, there's room for everybody. Um, and that, that in itself, like uh, working with clients now that um, are spending, you know, $2,000 a day. And I'm like, that was what I was making as an online teacher per month. Right. And then spending in ads, that's just a tiny bit of their marketing now. And so it's just, it is, that's, that's, that's huge. Um, this niche is not so tiny. There's so many other little things in there. And so I think that was the biggest takeaway. So sometimes I try to talk to other parents who are struggling. I need to make some income, but I can't leave my house. And I'm like, please look online. You have no idea how big that is, you know? It is. So opportunities are there and I just love yeah being an advocate for that and sharing that message it's like I was talking to someone else recently um and about you know looking for work and it's like there is a whole big global um potential client base that you can be working from here so um so 
oh, I lost my train of thought. You had something that was so good in there. Well, <laughs> so you're working um, so with clients. How has this also, so like you said, you're like you've realized you didn't know what you didn't know before. So one of the things that ad managers often um, have um, with their clients is like expectations. And so I anticipate the expectations that you've maybe learned to set for clients since going through the program has changed. So like when you were doing those first few, you go, yeah, sure, we can do Facebook ads, this will be great. But then after actually going through the training and going, wow, so we need to do X, Y, Z and this sort of campaign and this sort of funnel and setting the correct expectations for clients. How has that helped? Um, absolutely. I mean, even like the sheets that you have with the metrics and stuff like that, like that's something that it's probably my favorite part about ads because the numbers will speak. There's no, I don't need to feel it. I don't need to think it. I just look at the numbers. Yes, it's working. No, it's not. And that removes so much of the, um, you know, the subjective part of it that makes other things so complex. Um, and so that's probably, I think, my favorite part about it, uh, that you can do that. And so you, if you go so in depth into all of those things and your strategies, there's a lot of moving parts that they kind of just mesh together and click. So when it comes to setting those expectations, I've got something, at least it feels concrete. I know I said no feelings, right? But it feels concrete, like, hey, these are the numbers. Um, you know, if somebody was getting a dollar leads and now they want 20,000 new registrants for something and they've only got 4,000, eh, the math's not there, buddy, you know? <laughs> and um, so, yeah, it just, um, those kinds of things that I didn't have in my head before, just that number sense when it comes to the, the ads and things like that, how being able to see what's actually going to work, what has the potential to work and what is like, just smoke <laughs> <laughs> exactly like you say like the numbers don't lie you get the data in and it takes away those feelings in the emotions going i think this or i think that it's like well here's the data and this is what it's telling us it's like either telling us the ads aren't working it tells us that the landing page isn't working or it tells us that the offer isn't working so so yes the data is your friend and another question that i have for you is when you started out, how many clients did you have before you did the Elite Ad Manager? And has that changed for you since going through the training? Um, so when I started, officially, when I started, I had zero clients. <laughs> I remember you helped me with a discovery call in the very beginning, a uh, super sweet couple, but they ghosted me and I'm like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> and now I know it, it wasn't me. Uh, they did come back later, but I had zero clients. Um, now I have a handful of clients of my own and I landed a super sweet job, like an employee position with a company that's amazing. Um, so I never would have been in the space to obtain something like that if it weren't for your program, if it weren't for you. So it's, I don't wanna cry, but yeah, it's, I'm super grateful to, to be where I'm at right now. And I know that, yeah. That's awesome. And it's so good because it, like, like you touched on there, uh, an employee. So it's not always just a matter of you um, being a business owner and getting clients on board. When you know how to run Facebook ads, there are businesses all over the place. There's agencies all over the place that are looking for great ad managers and who are wanting to hire them. So not just as a contractor, but also employee opportunities. And, and this isn't the kind of skills that you're going to learn at school or at university. Right. This is like just real world skills that you can learn and they're super valuable. So I'm so glad that you touched on that. And um I'm so glad these opportunities have opened up for you, Cassandra, because you are just so deserving of them. You put in all the work and all the hard yards and now, you know, you're reaping the benefits for it. So I, I just love hearing that. So that's that's great. You deserve everything that comes your way there. So that's awesome. Thank you. So uh, if, um, oh, go ahead. Sorry. 
So if there is just like one takeaway that you would have from doing the Elite Ad Manager certification, um, that one biggest gold nugget or that one thing that would just change everything for you, what would that be? The one thing that changed, I mean, I've already touched on a lot, right? But um, I mean, it just really changed. I know that sounds super cliche, but I feel like it did change my life. Um, it's on a different trajectory than I could have imagined, you know? So that's something that, that, you know, there's no price on that. No, no, there isn't. And I know like learning Facebook ads myself has had the exact same thing, you know, like being able to connect with people like yourself um, all around the world, connect with some amazing people, and then also, you know, determine my own lifestyle. So I'm not going off to a nine to five. I'm not subjected to um, having just one boss and having to live by those rules. I have the freedom. I can go off and co-work with some friends for like a week. I can go off and, you know, go to conferences in America when travel opens up again. <laughs> <laughs> and meet all these amazing people so it really does open up a world of opportunity and I'm really excited for you to as you continue along that journey so um so thank you Cassandra so and also I wanted to touch on one of the big things um is the community in the elite ad manager and how you know you especially are such a valuable part of it you're there you're a little cheerleader for everybody and as we all ask our questions you're there giving answers and um, supporting everyone along the way so thank you very much for being part of it and um, couldn't imagine it without you so thank you very much and thanks for sharing your story being vulnerable and uh, sharing your experiences because you're certainly not alone with this and um, and that's why we do this so that we can help people you know change the trajectory of their lives in such a such a good way yeah. so Cassandra thank you so much it's been an absolute pleasure so guys if you want to know anything more about the elite ad manager certification what makes this program so different it's how it's not just a program but it's also like a mentorship and how it could maybe unlock doors for you that you think have been locked for a very long time and open up opportunities to working from home and working with an international client base Head over to EliteAdManager.com and learn more. Pop your name on the wait list if the doors are closed. Um, but if they're open, I'd suggest you jump in quick. Thanks a lot, Cassandra. It's been an absolute pleasure being here with you today. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now. Thank you.